recording and we are on Friday. So with no further ado, it's Friday. We've successfully gone through a week. Today's class is, as all the previous classes, we're dealing with the Hara Centre, which is sort of your sacral chakra, your Tantien, your Chi, your Ki, your powerhouse. It's the battery pack in you, okay? The aim of the class all week has been to put juice into your battery. Not take it out, but to put juice into it in a way that is about tone, not tension. And you will get bored of me saying it, tone, mmm, tension, <clears throat> okay? So, with no further ado, let us lay down on the mats, let us arrive. Welcome, on your backs, lay down, knees bent, soles of the feet. And just as per normal, please check in with the breath. Place your hands on the belly. See how the breath is feeling. And let the week sink away. Just let it sink away with the breath, with the body. And I'd like you to place your hands onto your belly. So the thumb, is it the navel? And the fingertips rest on the pubic bone. Good. Start to take the fullest breaths without them being straining, and then exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Slide the hands up towards the ribcage so the elbows make little wings by the side of you. Press the soles of the feet into the air so you feel a tilt of the hips. Have the natural. I want you to breathe to where the hands are. Inhale fully into the ribs. Exhale, compress as if squeezing the air out. Inhale. So this is thoracic breathing. Exhale. Inhale. The style of Ashtanga. So it's forceful. This is going to use up your battery power, isn't it? Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now place your hands onto the belly. We're going to go into belly breath. Inhale. So diaphragmic breathing. Fill the belly. You'll naturally arch your spine. Exhale, let the spine drop down and the belly. Good. Inhale, fill the belly like a balloon. Exhale, let it sink on down and drop to the center of the air. Inhale. Exhale. Good. So now we go into this new style, how we're breathing. Fingertips on the pubic bone, thumbs sit in the navel, elbows rest on the air. This is the breath that's in between the two, a little bit of both. So we're going to inhale fully. And as we exhale, we breathe all the way down to us to feel a little bit of tone in the base of us. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, take the breath all the way down as if you're breathing into two inches below the navel. Inhale. One more. Exhale, two inches below the navel, about three inches into the side, in the side of you. Good. That's our first experimentation done. Inhale, stretch your fingers long. Extend the log. Logs? They're not logs. They're legs. Stretch. And then when you're ready, bring the knees in towards the chest. Can you all hear me okay still? Yeah, you can. Sorry, Michelle, I don't know how, but I'm going to have to carry on, hon. Try your settings. When you're ready, bring yourself up to seated. And we'll come to a cross-legged position. If you've got something to put behind you, 
please do so. Now you'll notice I'm going to roll through today's class because it's a bit of a, a build up class. Inhale, take our hands up towards the sky. We're going to connect with a bit of chi situation. Inhale. Exhale, so it's an exaggeration. Bring the hands down. We're taking that little diamond shape and we point them down to breathe to the low part of us. Good. Inhale, float the hands up. This is free for interpretation. Carry out there if you feel like you'd like to use your castanets. Exhale. So we're using the arms to move the breath. Inhale. Fill that belly, round it like the Buddha. Exhale. Inhale. Now close the eyes. Exhale. A bit as if you were in a seance and trying to make contact with your breath. Is there any breath there? If you are, give me a sign. Inhale. So it's almost as if you're orchestrating your breathing with the movement of your hands. So maybe if you don't be contacting the breath, maybe think of it as you being the conductor of your breath. Like a great conductor would with the symphony, with a whole bunch of people playing musical instruments, you would go elevate the music, crescendo, and take it down, good. Inhale, take the hands up towards the Sky, take a big old stretch, exhale, hands to prayer, take a little bow in. Good. Onto all fours, we'll roll through. We start our vinyasa flow, it will be on the mat predominantly, okay? So hopefully you'll recognise it, and you'll be able to flow with it. Just check it out. I... Michelle, you might have to turn your sound off and on again. I think that might be the one to do. We'll try camera on and off again. On to all fours, press the knees into the mat. Good. Inhale, we're gonna fill the belly and look to the top of the mat. Okay, good. Exhale, rather than curling under, come to neutral spine and just exhale the breath to the base of you, but knee this tone, not tension. It's subtle what we're doing, it takes concentration. Inhale. Fill the sides of the body, the belly. Exhale. Concentration. South map D. Inhale. Exhale. Good contact with the breath. Good. Walk the hands forward nice and long. We're going to go into puppy dog. So put the forehead to the mat and stretch the spine long. Then we're going to lay ourselves down, going by the forearms. So, shimmy yourself towards the front of the mat. Let the body lay down. Bring the toes together and bring the heart through. Good. Press the elbows firmly in the mat. Legs together, please. And then, look down the body, chin to chest. And to do that, you're going to have to lift on up. Inhale, look forward. Heart comes with you. Exhale, we're going to go back, press ourselves back into child's pose, easy as we go. Slide the hands along the mat, drag them up to the thighs, go via the hammer point, inhale both hands up to the sky. We're going to do this a few times so you'll get used to it. Exhale, take the right hand and point it down towards the right knee. For today, we're going to swing that arm forward to join. The left hand, and then that one takes over the baton on the relay race and points the finger down. Inhale, take the hand up to the sky, and then exhale the breath and draw it down to the mat. Child's pose, easy. Inhale, force, working on the right side. Tuck the toes under, down with dog. We all know where we're going. Let's have a moment down with dog. Just take that unprecedented first moment in downward dog. Stop your judgment. We normally go to all that feels tight. Little pad of the feet. Walk dog, as they say in front Texas. Good. And then we're going to take the knees down to the mat, if you please. Stepping forward, right leg. Thank you very much. High on the fingertips. 
low lunge. Inhale, take the left knee off the mat and go into a low lunge and do the pointer dog feeling. Crown of head with your heel with the tail. Bit of power coming in here. Inhale, lift the fingers off the mat and exhale, let them just tickle the yoga mat. Inhale, as if you're touching gold leaf. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale, hands go down. Inhale into all fours. Exhale, rock back child's pose. Good manoeuvres. We continue. Inhale, all fours. Fill the belly. Reach forward on the exhale for puppy dog. Head down to the mat. Slip and slide and glide to the forearms. Lower down and ease into sphinx. Like Cleopatra herself. Bring the big toes together, inner thighs connect. Look down the central line of the body. Look between the knees and the nunny. Inhale, as you release it, let the lungs open forward into the chest cavity. Good. For a bit of good measure, tuck the toes under on an inhale. Lift for a moment and then knees down to the mat. Rock back, easy child's pose. Slide the hands up, let's find the thighs. Drag the breath up to the sky. This time, left arm starts off the circle. Left arm all the way back, look to the heel so you've got somewhere to focus on. And then just shimmy past the thigh and bring it up. And pass the baton over, right arm, points towards heel, shimmies past the side of the thighs, the wine storage area. And exhale into a long armed child's pose. Good. Inhale or force, downward dog for a moment. Ease back, downward dog, tailbone up to the sky. As always, shooting rockets of glitter from the derriere and the beautiful sunny skies. What I'm asking you to do is make sure that tailbone is pointing upwards, knees are soft, yeah, serious bit, the hamstrings get the work. Good, pop the knees back down to the mat, glide the left leg through, low lunge with three lifts. Here it comes. Inhale, back knee comes up and we press to the earth and glide the fingers off. Exhale, tickling the mat. Inhale, Exhale. Now, gold leaf, that's a bit gauche, isn't it? Let's imagine, inhale as we come up. We come down the chairs as we're touching the bellies of two little puppies, that makes you go soft and gentle. Inhale, back to all fours, thank you. Exhale, take a child's pose and surrender on in. Okay, so while you rest there, I'm just going to check on Michelle, she's still shaking her head at me. Just come back in, there we go. So, we're gonna continue, that is our base sequence, okay? I'll be ready, we're gonna add on our layers as per normal. Because it's a Zoom class, if we add layers on, it means your memory, muscle memory work, you get more out of your yoga. So, inhale into all fours, lovely. Exhale, extend the arms long, puppy pose, tailbone high, show off the panties. Inhale, we're going to walk forward into plank. Option of taking the hover into plank. Lower the pubic bone down. Point toes, feet together, heart forward, nose is full. Press the tops of the feet onto the mat. Squeeze in the thighs again and lift down the midline. Maybe even attempting to lift the knees off the mat and draw the heels together. Thank you. Body goes back down. Chest goes forward. Good, this time we take the forehead down to the mat, slide the arms by the side of us. Inhale, lift the right leg and the arms, but keep the gaze low to protect your neck, because we're going to do it a few times. Breathe here, maybe a little bit of an extra reach up with the hands. Ardha Shambhasana, a half locust pose. Hands down, foot down, hands up knees, shoulders. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, all the way back, drag the hands up the body. Going for our do straps and a half, camel pose, bring hands up to the sky. Okay, focus 
It's two inches below the navel, not heart opening. That's the difference today. Swing the right arm back. And think of your rooting into that hour, that chi point. Inhale, sweep hand up to the sky. Exhale, sweep the hand back, squeeze. Tension, not two. Inhale. Exhale, take the prayer behind the back of the head. And I want you to feel some tone just above the pubic bone. Found that was a good way to connect with this hand point. Inhale, hands up to the skull. Exhale, bow down to the mat. Go gently, go with a bit of humility down to the mat. Inhale into all fours. Okay, we're going to start with the forearms down for some wrist preservation. Okay, Alex. Forearms down, sharp, sharp on the head today. Sharp on your knees, a bit of wrist preservation as well. Forearms down, tuck the toes under, spread the fingers, press the tailbone up to the sky. Now you can stay steady here and breathe. Or we have the excuse to take the right leg up to the sky. If we do, I would like to take a bend of the knee and take the heel towards the buttocks. Big opening. Wherever we are or whatever we're doing, back down to all fours, please. Stepping through, right leg. So you can see our build up going here. Right leg comes through. Tuck the toe under, three gentle lifts. Tickling the bellies of two puppies. Inhale. Exhale. So literally, as if you were, you wouldn't go down hard on two little baby puppy bellies or kittens, maybe. Inhale. Exhale. I don't think you can use human babies analogy. I don't think that's appropriate. Inhale. Exhale. On the last one, peel away. And inhale that diamond hand up to the sky. Inhale, good. Let's take it back down to the mat, everyone. Exhale down to the mat. Inhale on fours. Exhale, child's pose. No resting this time. Inhale back to all fours. Left side, series. Reach your arms forward, forehead down. Lengthen out of your crown. Slithering like the finest Harry Potter character, all the way through, pubic bone to the mat. Lengthen the sternum forward. Good. Up to your level of pressure here. Forearms into that big toes together, lifting maybe onto the top of the feet. Ashtanga posse, this is a great build up for Chaturanga Dandasana. Good. Lower down to the mat. Forehead goes down. Arms by the side of you, Ardha Shalambhasana, half locust. Lifting left leg and the arms and the heart. Imagine that those tops of those shoulders are like the wing encasement for a locust. So you're going to ease them back while their wings sit by the side of their body. We hold for a moment. I waffle for a while. Distraction techniques. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, into plank or all fours, your option. Knees down to the mat, drag the arms, drag them up to the sky. Inhale, full elevation in the left arm, continues the motion in your ocean. Scoop it over. Inhale, working from that lower tantien, exhale. Inhale, good. This time, exhale, hands on the hips. So, go subtle. It's a feeling, tone up tension. That place, two inches below your navel. Imagine that's the pure root of you. Draw the arms back and elevate up from that point. Quite often, I ask you to do it from the sternum, like there's a hook underneath your sternum. But I want you to come from deep down, deeper and lower. Deeper and lower. Draw the elbows back. And so that keeps the hips weighting forward. Now here's the fun bit for us today. I would like to inhale, round the belly, and then exhale to feel that hand point where your battery pack is. Can you believe that? I hope so. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Pleasey, pleasey, child's pose with three breaths after that, after that kind of back 
bending situation. Take it down to the mat and oh. Let the fluids and the nerves of the spine just take a moment to go, ah, okay, we've done that. Cheers. We need to squeeze to release. Inhaling into all fours. Pop the forearms down to the mat. Keep them parallel. Root and toot in the fingers. Tuck the toes under. On your exhale, take the tailbone to the sky for dolphin variation. This is a strong pose. It's meant to feel like you're doing something. Inhale, the left leg either stays where it is and your focus stays on the mat or you look to the left foot and you guide on up to the sky. You've got a lot of opening on the kinetic chain of your right leg. Bend the knee if you please. Wherever you are, we'll all go back down to all fours. Good. Looking forward, back on the hands. Left leg is on the move now. Bring the left leg through. It's three legs with a crescendo up into high lunge. I'm on it. It's Friday. Inhale, lift. And exhale. Day five of detox. Inhale. Exhale. Ready to go up, inhale, gather it up to the sky, gather it, gather it, gather it, gather it, gather it, and then ease it back down, making it smooth and as sweet for the breath as possible. Inhale, back to all fours, exhale, ease back, child's pose, very nice. Inhale, all fours, we'll keep rocking and rolling in this. Exhale, arms long. Puppy dog pose. Okay, we're gonna add in some standing stuff now. Inhale, slither through, use the forearms, tuck the toes under, inner thighs connect, lower it down. Look forward to create the inhale. Collarbone wide like wings. Good. Exhale, look underneath, depending on the power you want to feel. Stay steady, or you can raise that up and take. Crown of the head towards the mat. Inhale, we'll come all the way back down. We're going to go full Shalambasana. I like the word Shalambasana. Forehead to the mat, slide the arms by the side of the body. Bring the big toes together and then lift the arms and the legs and cradle yourself up into this. As if you're becoming your own human hammock shape. Take some Delightful breaths here. Why abdominal massage? Why good for the digestive system? Why is that an issue? Stress, sedentary lives. Hands under the shoulders, feet go down. Lovely manoeuvres. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, child's pose. Ready for the hand drag. Drag them along. Inhale, elevate them up. Big diamonds to the sky. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Yay. Taking the right hand, it's going to swoop all the way back. We either take it onto the buttock or fingertips touch the heel. Inhale, heart up towards the sky, but then we work from the lower part of this, that Hara Shaka area. Hand can ease either onto the buttock if you're halfway there. So you can have one hand on the foot and one hand on the buttock, or both on the buttock, or both down. But to be able to put both down, you've got to be able to manoeuvre like so. Otherwise, you're pressing too far into the posture. When we're ready, wherever we are, we elevate both hands up to the sky. Charles pose, three breaths. Release spine. You can even add a little wiggle of a shimmy of the buttocks side to side. It's not like a cat does, but it pounces on something. Okay. Here we go to some standing welly. Inhale, into all fours. Taking downward dog, option. Option one, hands on the mat. Option two, down onto the forearms. Option three, child's pose and tell me where to go because that's enough for you. And you're in your own place, so you can do exactly what you like. Next exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Take what you like off the menu today, we've got the full menu. 
Feet are together. Okay, a little bit of core ridge here. Inhale, take right heel up to the sky. Turn out the hip. Bend the knee so the heel goes towards the left buttock. Okay, we're there. Inhale, leg goes back up to the sky. Square the hips, flex the foot. Bring the knee in towards the chest, number one. Same motion. Inhale, open, swing out. Exhale, draw in, press into the left heel. And again, inhale, swing, open out. So we've got stability, we're embodying stability from the Hala Chakra. In other words, we're getting strong without strain. Look forward wherever you are, everyone, either onto or forward. And we'll all meet in high lunge. Ta-da! We'll meet there. Don't worry, we'll wait till we're all there. It's a gang thing, we're all together. When we're ready, we're going to peel off the mat. Same as we did in the camel pose. Peel it off the mat, inhale. Hands are going to go up to the sky. A little baby bend of that back knee to tuck your tailbone under. Good. Exhale. Draw the breath down, just as we did at the start, that feeling of the breath. Inhale, raise up. Exhale, ease it down. And we remind ourselves, we don't want, if it starts creating strain, soften back. This is to recharge the battery, not use it up. This is to charge us up, make us feel good make us feel balanced, but also in our own power, if that makes sense. Inhale, exhale, those hands are going to go down to the mat. Inhaling into plank or take child's pose. Hold steady wherever you are, be in child's pose or plank. Good. Knees down to the mat. Ease back, easy child's pose. Inhale once more. Same sequence, left side. Let's see if I can remember it. That's all right. Always a winner. Reach your arms forward, forehead down. Options available. Slither sweet or slither firm. As the body goes down, the chest goes forward. Here we are. Full sphinx. Chin to chest, forehead down. Inhale, the hands up and the legs up, reach. But this time we're gonna bend the right leg and point with our right fingers, as if we were doing a sort of camel pose. Good. Keeping it with the core, and because it's Friday, we're gonna inhale the arms in front of us, and the right leg long. Hands down to the mat. Inhale, all the way back to all fours. Slide, and then glide up, inhale. All the way up, reach up towards the sky. Good. Sliding the left arm round. Okay, take your pick. Karma A, Karma B. We have the other arm to go. So from this point, lift it up, press back from the pubic bone so the sacral mass is pushing forward. Swim the arm back and see where it lands. It could be different on either side because we're all a bit lopsided. Maybe. And wherever you are, you find it so it's sustainable. So it feels that on like a broken record, there's toning, not tension. If the shoulders or the neck or the knees ease back, there's always another day to do yoga. When we're ready, inhale, we'll take the hands up to the sky. Good, exhale, child's pose in respect of the lumbar. But no need to rest. Inhale into all fours. Decision, forearms, child's pose, or core. Inhale, tailbone to the sky. Then we're gonna take the left leg up this time. Inhale, the left leg goes up, we bend the knee, Open the hip. And then we draw the knee in towards the chest and power up the hara. Inhale, hara or hara, depends on the north or south England. Draw it in. 
Inhale. Okay, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, climb on one, two, or three. Draw the legs through, and we all meet in high lunge. I think my stomach's about to do a massive gurgle. I probably shouldn't have worn this collar yoga pants. I'm just saying, day five of the detox. I'm on parasite cleansers at the moment. It wasn't, uh, I'm not going to say anything. But if I go a bit of a funny colour, are we ready? Inhale, we're going to take those hands up to the sky. You can go by the knee, if you please. All the way up to the sky. Please stay with me, my body. And then breathe the hands down, exhale. So find the movement for you, yeah? Find that breath movement. You might find you're gonna be doing some baby back bends up here, or when you come down, the back knee is grooving towards you. Or you might think, hey, hold on a minute. If I straighten up a little bit, I can do some nice swimmy movements. As long as you're sort of bringing in the battery power and then putting it into storage, in your own powerhouse. One more. Inhale. I hope my metaphors are making sense. You're not in front of me. It's sort of a, it's a, it's a, a suck it and see. Hands down to the mat. Wherever you are, inhale into plank or down onto the knees if you please. Those knees are going to go back down to the mat. We rock back child's pose. Okay, one more full vinyasa. So just come have a sit up and look at your camera so you can see me. Right, let's take a moment. So let's reboot. As we do this full vinyasa, the ingredient we need in our cooking pot is this two inches below the navel and into the center of us. And we need to keep that for our sense of stability and balance and power, okay? Please expect to wobble out of this, okay? It is meant to destabilize this so we can restabilize. And as always, what we practice in our yoga mat becomes efficient elsewhere, okay? But this is quite a powerful secret. So if any time you're going into tension, not tone, even like tone like the sound of tone or mm, business, Please stop and wait for the next round or join you when it feels good. I'm not there to come and slap you on your bottom or, or say something wholly inappropriate to make you giggle and stop. Okay, so I need you to take care of your beautiful bodies. Remember all the previous clamors work from the forearms, go to child's pose. I trust you. Okay, there's a level for everyone. Are we ready? This is the big vinyasa. Okay, it's big. Get that, oh, layers are coming up out there. <laughs> Come on. So, tension, not tone. Let's begin in child pose. Regain a breath. And let's see how pretty we can get on a Friday. Take a moment. Bring your focus to that lower energy spot in you. Building up our battery power with our own breath. Concentration. Groundedness. And a calming tone. Here we go. Inhale all fours. Let's stay with what we know. Exhale, reach the arms, tailbone back. Okay, let's meet in Sphinx. Find our way there. As we inhale into Sphinx, maybe the big toes touch. Good. We do our elevation off the mat any which way that feels good. For one breath, we exhale. Inhale all the way back, rippling to the mat. Look forward. Shalabhasana, all the way down. Extend the arms behind, raise both legs. The left leg is going to come up. We reach towards the left leg. If the fingers are touching, then we bend the right leg. If we do, we have the bow, po the bow pose. 
wherever we are. Inhale into a long shape, whether the feet and the arms and the head are off the mat, or whether you're just laying down on the mat nice and long, stretching those abdominals. Hands underneath the shoulders, feet go down. Inhale, either into plank or rock back, child's pose. Knees go down, glide the arms on up. Reach towards the sky. So remember all our variations, take your pick. If you wish and you know you're feeling you'd like to take the next layer, you reach back and glide the arms down into camel. Only if those hands reach it naturally, should you be staying there with it. Three to five breath, whichever variation you've chosen. Tone, not tension. Inhale, swoop the arms up to the sky. Exhale, child's pose, down to the mat. We continue with our flow now. Inhale, into all fours, or child's pose and stay. All forearms, or pull yourself a gin and tonic. Over to you, I'm not judgmental, I would if I could. Down the dog, inhale, right leg up towards the sky. You've got the previous manoeuvre, or you come into full core plank. Draw forward, knee in towards the chest, a bend of the elbows. Inhale, leg up to the sky, open it up. Exhale, draw in, maybe even taking the knee across the body. Inhale. Exhale. We'll all meet in our high lunge. Why, well, thank you very much. Waiting there. Good. That's it. Get your lycra in order, people. Those lycra pants start to slide down and the belly pops out over the top of the lycra, doesn't it? Yes, I know. Okay, raise the arms to the sky with a breath. I'm going to tap your belly back in. Pop. Inhale, hands up to the sky. All right. We're going to go a little bit hoo-ha on this one. Are we ready? We're going to press the breath down. I'm going to let you know, inhale. We're going to go to the front of the mat in a one-legged balance. Exhale. Yeah, I did say that. So build up your battery power. Inhale. Take the hands up to the sky, palms facing each other. As we exhale, we're going to step towards the front of the mat and bring the left knee in towards the chest. Exhale. Hands to prayer to steady our motion. Warrior three from here, either tip the back leg down onto the mat, extend it a bit further, or take full warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to chest, hands to prayer, back to standing. There's one more like that. Yes, there is. Inhale into your variation of warrior three. Hands down to the mat. We step on back. Knees down. Child's pose. A delicate little moment. Inhale all fours. Left side full vinyasa. Exhale, forehead to the mat. Built up beautifully. I love it. Inhale into your plank variation. Now, some of you may not even want to lay down here. You may just think, hey, I'm going to go straight into that toe knuckle balance. Inhale. Exhale, wherever you go, look under. Inhale, all over to the mat. Slide the hands behind. Into Shamanbhasana, either stay or maneuver yourself into bow pose. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, lengthen out, whether you lay down or whether you rise, makes no difference. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale, all fours. Glide back, inhale, hands up to the sky. Good, find your way to the pose for you. Hands to the buttocks, I've done enough of those, I'm not gonna go into the one now. 
What's the point? What's that going to prove? Nothing. I think I'm going to put a bit of this one. Now normally, in this posture, I'd go tits, teeth and pan, everyone, tits, teeth and pan, but it's, it's more about the downstairsy bits, yeah? That lifting up, that toning up, and that feeling in the tummy. Stability, rooted, calm and controlled. Inhale, hands up to the skirt, reach on high. Exhale, one bow, long arm, child pose. Inhale, all falls, pick and variation. Do a little or do a lot. Exhale, down with dog. Inhale, left your leg raises up, bend the knee. Exhale, draw the knee in towards you any which way. Feels good. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale, that leg's going to come through. Let's meet in lunge. Exhale. So we know we've got a little bit of a balance challenge. So we get our rootedness, that feeling of creating balance. Inhale, we'll rise them up, let it float. Exhale, settle down for one breath. Inhale. Okay, so speak. speak. Pick a spot in front of you to keep your eyes focused, to keep your balance. No look at the camera, because if I wobble, we all go. Knee, right knee, in towards chest, standing. Tadasana with one leg. Exhale, up it goes. Inhale, into warrior three. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, hands on high. One more. Exhale. Inhale. Warrior three. Toe on the ground or not. Your choice. From here, we step back down onto the mat. Inhale into plank. Knees down. Child's pose. Full Friday. Hacking the hammer. This class is going to be called. What you should, if I've done my job properly and I'm worth my salt, you should feeling of as you lay here in child's pose, a feeling of being alive that there's heat rolling through your body, but that you've not expended any unnecessary energy. You've created the dynamo in you to squeeze and move all of the internal organs. However, you've also worked on your concentration, the multitude of very complicated sequence of yoga poses. Okay, beautiful souls, lovely human beings, my favourite people on the planet in this moment. Find your sweetest way to lay on your back. Now flip and flop like the fish out of the net, or elegantly pirouette there. For those that levitate, Janet, please use your levitational skills. Hopefully you won't need to um, see the screen for this part, but we're going to do a bit of rock and rolling in the spine. Why? Because we've been working on this point in the body, I want us to loosen that spine, but I want it to feel nice and fun. Okay, so you're going to naturally get onto the back, and the first thing you're going to want to do I'm hoping, is just bring the knees up and bring the feet up. Take the arms into the cactus shape. And again, we're going to go back to the puppy analogy. Imagine you've got two little fluffy puppies in your hands and you don't want to squeeze them. You want them to sit there and sleep, sleep them. Knees are bent. We're going to inhale as we take the knees to the right. Exhale, bring them back to centre. Take your focus back to our hour. Inhale, to the left. Exhale, back to centre. Watch for those fingers. 
Inhale to the right. Exhale to the centre. Really keep that focus below the navel. Inhale. To the left. Exhale back to centre. Okay, please take your hands behind the right knee. Extend the left leg towards the sky. Use momentum and a cantilever effect to just roll up into an imbalance, she said. Not the first one, let's try a few more. Roll and lift, you can pop down the right toes to create a bit of a balance. And again, inhale, into the posture. Exhale as you roll back. Inhale, we'll meet you there. Half boat pose, Navasana. Uh huh, you got me. And then we extend the right leg long, hands behind the left leg, and we roll and repeat. Roll back, roll up. You know, I always say Metsaluna the spine. Roll back on an exhale, inhale, we lift up. One more. Come to half boat pose, seated posture. Draw the shoulders back. Good. Taking both legs up towards the sky or stay where you are. Hold and breathe. Good. Pop the toes down onto the floor. Hands go behind you. Good. We're going to gently rock both legs over to the right and take our Darcy Bustle gaze over to the left. Inhale back to centre and just walk to the side. All we are doing is a checks and balances on that lumbar spine, the reverse point of where our focus has been. Inhale. Lay yourself down to the mat and bring the knees back in towards the chest. With your hands, just keep the knees together but let the weight of the legs. Hopefully, for those that need it, will feel a stretch in the base of their lumbar spine at the very lowest point. This is a, maybe a gentle movement of the iliosacral area, which is where your spine joins your hips. It's, a, it's where we've been working as well, so you may feel it. Gently elevate the forehead towards the knees. And lift the tailbone off the mat. Good. Head goes back down. Extend the legs up to the sky. While we're here, a touch of the LLs. So just sway the legs side to side. As if you're drawing a crescent moon with your toes above you. Lovely. Okay. From here, your hamstrings should be feeling pretty good right now. Okay. So just check in with them, slide the hands behind the back of the legs. Flex the toes towards the forehead. Bend the knees if suitable. Bring chin in towards the chest and reach towards the toes working from that lower point. Lower the head back down, elbows go down. You're gonna shoot the hands over on an inhale to the right. Inhale, we lift up. Exhale, we hold. Inhale, we go back down. Good. To the side. Inhale, both hands point over to the left outer edge of the foot. Exhale, we breathe. Inhale, we come back down. Soles of the feet onto the earth. Draw them as close to your buttock as you can. Finishing posture, because I know it's going to feel good. Not sequencing, just take hold of the edges of your mat with your hands and gently, as we know, Sati Bandhasana, just lift the hips a little on up, just a little. Yeah, feel how that feels. Is that okay? Is that good? Yeah, magnetize the thighs towards one another. Good. We've got that. Just press the back of the head into the mat a little bit to protect the neck, a little, not a lot. Inhale, the arms can go up towards the sky. And take a big stretch behind you. Then maybe onto the balls of the feet, a little bit of a finisher. Feel the buttocks come alive. 
and then ripple that spine all the way down to the mat. Bring the arms over, right knee in towards the chest. Possibly give the knee a little kiss. Well done, knee. Good work this week. Thanks for being with me. Inhale, extend the arms on behind you, and then draw in left knee. Homage to the left knee, loving the left knee. And we have made it. So grab your comfort blankets. Debs, grab that cold G&T. Is it too early? I don't know. We don't know. <laughs> and snuggle on up. Put your blankets on. Get nice and warm. Keep the heat in the body. Keep our subtle warmth. And as you do so, I'll just waffle my normal waffle. Today's class or this box set of classes is all about creating our own balance and stability. If we maintain our balance, our centeredness, if we remain centered, like it when we do the fine warrior one, or when we work on this howl of posture and breath in the body, it requires physical concentration. It requires our psychological concentration. And above all, it takes spirit to do it. So combining all of these three together, that's how we recharge our battery. We take care of our soul, we take care of our body, and we take care of our mind. And that is our trifecta, our trimutri, our holy trinity to recharge ourselves. So as we lay here right now, Take a check of how the body feels. For you to do that, maybe you can use a label or a word. Maybe how the body feels might be in the shade or a colour. Maybe there's a texture to how the body feels. Maybe there's a taste. May one of your senses give an indicator of how your body is in this moment. And with that sense of being present and correct and completed, take full attention to the exhale. Inhale sweet and easy. As you exhale, take the breath down all the way into the hara. Continue the breath and smooth and easy. Allow the mind just to focus on the simplicity of your breath. Feeling grounded, present. I invite you with this Shavasana, if you choose, to enter a state of being rather than doing. This state of being rather than doing can release you from the worrying mind. And this can help us taste each moment as it arises through the rest of the day. And with the calmness that we've cultivated, so our balance, so our stability, we know now that we can move forward with a state of acceptance of how things are. Through this practice and this mindfulness, we become the calm 
we become the peace we need within us. It's as if life itself in this moment was just holding you safe. Take your focus onto your exhalation and allow it to deepen still. <clears throat> May I feel peace and protected. May I be peaceful. May I live at ease and with kindness. May you be safe and protected. May you be peaceful. May you live at ease and with kindness. May all beings be safe and protected. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings live with ease and kindness. Again, come back finally to notice the peace and the calm that resides within you. And it's always there. Sense of unconditional love, firstly for self and then others. Place the hands onto the belly. As if to magically seal in the practice, as if to say, I put that practice there. I keep my peace, my embodiment of stability, my energy for when I choose to use it is right there. And may this trigger stay with you throughout the weekend where I won't be seeing you. That any time you just need to feel that stability, with kindness, just place your hands there and know that's where it resides, in the ebb and flow of our life right now, in this craziness. Take a full breath in, a good old exhale. And when you're ready, I'll meet you in seated. Oh, that was a lovely culmination after a week. I'm just going to take the microphone out. Namaste. Put in the microphone out. I may be able to hear you. There we go. I'm going to, I'm going to unmute. <laughs> Give us a wave, everyone. Have. You're more than welcome. I just want to let you know I've decided not to do wine yoga tonight. I'm detoxing, and even the thought of doing yoga and wine tonight <laughs> befuddles my psychology. Um, so I will not be doing wine and yoga tonight. Where's Cookie? Angela, I'm sorry. You're just going to have to drink. Can you all drink some wine for me, please? Yeah, yeah. that's fine. I've got my yeah. first weekend without wine. <sighs> Oh, I'm gonna need your loving. Okay. Gotta to, gotta to keep my stability. I can guarantee that the weekend or well, having stepchildren here, I'll be doing this. I'll be doing this a lot. I'm balanced, I'm calm. So we'll be doing a lot of meditation this weekend. Won't come back on Monday with no fingernails, yeah. 
licking a cork. <laughs> so um, have a great weekend. What a great week. Thank you so much for all of you. Oh. Annette, welcome. Thank you. Virtual hugging. <laughs> <laughs> Distance in hug, you know. Have a great weekend, everyone. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But always, always take care of you first because you're the most important bit to me. Everyone else is the boat, but you're my favourite. I love you all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I'm ending. I'm ending. I'm ending it now. Bye, goodbye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye Carrie. Bye, love. <laughs> Bye, Carrie. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Carrie. Bye, Carrie. Just the day that Carrie gets to come running into this room dancing. Okay, I'll I'll get one ready for next week. I'll get a little movement going. Bye. Yeah, I need that. Take care, Helen, on the stairs. Yes, I will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Helen, oh, I must send you that link, Linda. Just remember, I'll do it now with a cup of tea. Thank right, you. I'll see you later. Bye, Anne. Bye. 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 Bye.